Well, it's Friday morning. Um, I've tr been trying to be on a, um, kind of a, a Zoom thing with uh, a, a drum festival that's taking place in Paderborn, Germany, um, with uh, Ian Pace from Deep Purple and Chester Thompson from Phil Collins's band. Um, and I was sitting here talking to Chester, who's in Nashville, and then um, Ian came on in Paderborn with Uli Frost, who's putting on this event. Um, we were all supposed to be in Germany uh, at this point uh, until the pandemic uh, put the, uh, the kibosh on that. So um, we were just getting started on that, and then there were technical glitches. And I'm waiting right now for them to get back to me with um, new logins, and they're, they're trying to sort all that out. But apparently there's um, people from all over the world logged into this thing. You know, yeah, I, I think locally, I think that they're in a, in a big theater uh, or some facility, and I think Ian's playing, and they're all safely scattered around this place. But um, Chester and I are just in a holding pattern. I'm waiting, but it was great to sit and talk to Chester. I hadn't seen Chester in a while. I miss playing with him and hanging with him. So if nothing else, we got a little time in together this morning. So, but I was thinking about stuff, something for today. And one of the th interesting things about, you know, being a bass player is you're really cognizant of, of bass singers and like I did, a, 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 I've played many times with the Oak Ridge Boys and Richard Sturban, the, uh, the bass singer in the Oak Ridge Boys. It was always fun being in the studio trying to figure out what we were going to do together because, you know, I didn't always want to be doubling his vocal part because he was already doing the bass. Um, and, you know, and bass baritones, like um, one of the most influential ones to me back when I first started playing bass was Bill Medley of the Righteous Brothers who as time went on, uh, we became very good friends. And, uh, but it stills every time I hear, you never close your ears, you hear that voice and you just go, God, what a great set of pipes. Um, but over the years, one of the guys I discovered who is just astounding to me, he's probably one of the greatest bass singers ever, um, is Samuel Ramey. And uh, he's not a pop singer or anything like that. He's, a, he's an operatic bass. And, um, and there's this um, video I've watched many times and, and, and shown to people. And it's Old Man River from uh, Showboat, the, the musical Showboat. And uh, every time I hear this, I just kind of sit there and just go, I can't imagine that coming out of a person. And there's all kinds of stories about him that, uh, that like when he was in his teens, he went to sleep one night with a voice like Michael Jackson and woke up with the voice he's got uh, in this. Uh, whether or not that's a urban legend, I don't know. But um, he's still around. He's still singing. I mean, he's probably about, he must be about 80 now, 79 or 80, I guess. Um, but there's lots of videos with him doing, you know, all kinds of Puccini and doing Rigoletto and all these things. But this this performance of um, Old Man River, uh, there, there's some beautiful Paul Robeson and, and Warfield. There's there's a tremendous amount of great performances that are really a world. I mean, they are what defined this role uh, in Showboat. But uh, he, there's a timber for him that just gets to me every time. So I thought I would just share that with you. Um, and don't go, after, he's got the biggest head of hair, man. It's, it's humble. He's got a beautiful mane. Uh, it's amazing. So dig, dig his singing and in his interpretation. I, I, I've seen uh, people commenting on things and they go, oh man, it looks like the Lion King and all that. Uh, that's not what this is about. This is about an exquisite bass singer who, his interpretation of a great piece of music that was created for a bass singer, um, he does so well. So I'm going to just play it for you now. And, uh, and here we go. This is Samuel Ramey. Oh, Joe, did you see that young man I was talking to? Morning. 
him, Miss Nola. Yeah, I seed him. Seed a lot like him on the river. Oh, Joey was such a gentleman. Have you seen Miss Julie? I got to find Miss Julie. I got to ask her what she thinks. Then I asked old River what he thinks. He knows all about them boys. He knows all about everything. There's an old man called the Mississippi. That's the old man I would like to be. What does he care if the world's got trouble? What does he
it's just hard to fathom that coming out of you. Uh, it's just, for me, it just blows my mind. Uh, I've listened to it so many times, and it just gives me goosebumps every time. And uh, just the bottom, when he drops down, and the timber of his voice is just, just something to... It's really amazing, amazing. So, um, come back and, and, you know, I'll try to play tomorrow. Um, today, it's an exciting day. The uh, Amedia Family's EP... Um, just came out today, and tomorrow's our concert. For anybody who hasn't uh, signed up for it, who would like to, you go to, uh, there's a site, Stage It, S-T-A-G-E-I-T dot com, and type in The Immediate Family, and it'll give you, it's 15 bucks, I guess, to, to see the show, and um uh, it all happens on the site, but we are so excited about it. It's really, it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, I've just just been keep going through the uh, the loose book, just making, just double checking and looking at it all, and um, and grinning. It's a his, it's really funny. <laughs> it is a piece of work. Um, and I should have an actual finished copy soon. And when I have that, then I'll really show you what's what's going on because we needed to okay it. Now they'll do one, and then it'll be coming over on a on a, on a ship, I think, um, from overseas where it's printed. But they'll FedEx one to me, so I have an, an, a real one um, in my hands and not a loose one. So I'm excited about that, and um, just. Lots, lots of little things to do, but um, be sure um, things are getting really down to the wire here. So, you know, if you're not registered, register and vote. Uh, it's essential, really, for a democracy that you participate. And uh, numbers are starting to go up everywhere. Um, you know, I'm hearing reports from Europe um, in, across the country, numbers are starting to spike again for this virus. Um, it can't be taken lightly. If, if things, we don't want to be taking one step forward and three steps back every time, or this will never end. Um, we have to make a determined effort to get this behind us. And again, I thank everybody, doctors, nurses, hospital workers, police, firemen, um, sanitation workers, the people working in the stores, in the restaurants that are trying to keep this all working. Uh, you're the best. Thank you so much. And uh, thank everybody. Also, um, hold on one second. Uh, I'll get it. Um, I've got the next um, live stream. It's going to be back on a Wednesday because um, we I had to change it to the to Tuesday of this of this week um, when we did it. But I'll go back to Wednesdays again at 3 p.m., and it'll be two weeks from this past Tuesday, but I'll, I'll sh next video, I'll, I'll throw the uh, date and information out to you. So I enjoyed that so much. It got off to a rough start, but uh, I've talked with Aaron about it, and he said it ain't going to happen again, so we're, we're good. <laughs> it won't be that kind of craziness. So um, take good care. If I don't talk, to, well, I'm going to be, I'll put stuff up over the weekend, but I just want to wish everybody uh, a great weekend. Have a have a good one and uh, enjoy your family and friends and as best you can under these circumstances. And uh, and then we'll reconvene for another week on Monday. So I'm just I'm just digging Samuel. What a what a set of pipes. God, remarkable. So okie dokie. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.